How to help transfer of competences in volunteering. Volunteering is a great opportunity for anyone to learn and develop new competences. However, according to recent surveys, volunteering is the single most overlooked skill on resumes. Indeed, digital youth work happens in a non-formal context, so how do we value volunteering and help skill transfer to happen? But wait, how do you define competences exactly? In many Erasmus Plus publications, a competence is defined as a set of skills, knowledge, behavior, and attitude. Can competences in volunteering really be recognized? It's up to the volunteer to make the most out of it. We encourage volunteers to include their volunteering experience in resumes as employers often highly appreciate candidates who have volunteering experience. As an organization, you must value the competence development of free volunteers. Recognizing that a volunteer is doing something great is the first step. You can help by creating certificates, providing recommendation letters, and encouraging them to take on new challenges. You also need to know your volunteers well, so you can provide them with opportunities matching their interest and area of developments. Volunteers can be inspired and get the confidence to start their own business, learn something new, or start their own volunteering project. Can you give us examples of competences which can be developed when volunteering in digital youth work? If you know about Europass, that might ring a bell. Communication skills. Volunteers often want to test their teaching and coaching skills, maybe to further develop their current skills. Finding one's calling in teaching and professional youth work can start from volunteering activities. Sense of initiative and entrepreneurship. Volunteers might be interested in developing their skills to manage a project, even on a small scale. PM skills are useful for many jobs. Some volunteers enjoy taking on so many responsibilities that the volunteering work can evolve into a career in an NGO and or in digital education management. Technical skills. Volunteering can be a great way to acquire new technical skills. Often, volunteers are interested in technologies they aren't using in their normal work context. Volunteering can help them learn, for example, new programming languages, social media, web design tools, or open source tools. Communication in one's native or foreign languages. More and more volunteers are facing multilingual groups and need to adapt. In tech, English is often used because the majority of systems and materials is in English. Sometimes you need to communicate with people who are learning your language to integrate, which is an opportunity to reflect on your own way of talking as well. Math and basic science. Some volunteers might be interested in developing basic numeracy skills. Very often, volunteers in coding activities don't know how to code initially, but realize how important it is to acquire these kinds of digital skills that they can share at work, in their community, and even with their family and friends. Digital skills. Digital is often about collaboration and learning by doing. Those working in IT are also keen to learn with others what they wouldn't learn otherwise, such as new methods, new techniques, or new programming skills. Civic competences. Some of the civic competences we come across are working with diverse groups and people from different backgrounds, understanding others better, as well as the society we are evolving into, and the challenges faced by youth, especially in the digital world. You see that volunteering can allow volunteers to gain valuable skills they can use in their social life and in the professional world. Volunteering is a great opportunity for personal growth in a formal and non-formal way.